this is a Telegram bot that I made in less than two minutes. I'm gonna click the start button. My Telegram bot's gonna say, welcome to Northern Thread Co. I'm gonna write, tell me more. And it's gonna give me a bunch of additional information about my company. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to set it up, even if you know nothing about coding. In part two, we're gonna learn how it works in the back end under the hood. And then in part three, I'm gonna run through a bunch of Telegram examples. Let's get started. Okay, first step, you're gonna head on over to youraiagent.com slash telegram dash bot. I'm gonna leave a link for this page in the description below. And we only need two things to set up this bot. We need a bot token and then an AI agent prompt. So first with the bot token. In Telegram, you create bots by calling bot father. So in the search bar at the top, I'm gonna to search for bot father. I'm gonna open this chat and then I'm gonna click the start button. Doing so gives us a bunch of options for bot father. What we're looking for is slash new bot. I click on that and it sends me a message at the bottom. All right, a new bot. How are we going to call it? Please choose a name for your bot. Let me write your AI agent bot. Send that in. Then it says, good. Now let's choose a username for your bot. It must end in bot. So for example, Tetris bot or Tetris underscore bot. Now this name needs to be unique across all of Telegram. So if I write your AI agent bot and then try to send that in, it's gonna say that username is already taken. So get creative here. There's a lot of users on Telegram. So there's a chance your bot name has already been taken. For this video, I'm just gonna add a bunch of numbers, then add bot at the end. That should go through. When we create the bot, we get two things that we need. The first is the deep link to actually call your bot. We'll come back to that in a second. And then there's the bot token. So click on the bot token. It's gonna to say text copy to clipboard. Go back to the Telegram bot page and paste that bot token in. The next step is your agent prompt. So these are all the details you wanna to give to your Telegram bot. Now I set you up with a basic template for a prompt. Feel free to edit this or start completely fresh with whatever you like. The example I give here is for an e-commerce company. So I give it some style, like talk in one to three short sentences, friendly and human, match the user's language. I give it a bunch of business facts, like the name of the business, the contact email, the support hours, the shipping information. Then I give it some core behavior. That's like if this, then that. Like if a user asks for information and we don't have it, invite them to email or call the phone number shown in the business facts. You can also paste your entire knowledge base into this prompt input, and then your Telegram bot will draw from that when crafting its response. At the top here, there's an option to test the output before you launch it to live. So you can fine tune your agent prompt, get it to sound exactly how you like, test it with some information, and then launch it once you're ready. So I'm gonna click test output here. The example message I'm sending through is I placed an order yesterday, when will it ship? So it's gonna load for a second. And then it says order ship after one to two business days of processing. And if I look in the prompt, here that is, processing is one to two business days. With it all set up, I can now click start agent. It's gonna take you to the workflows page where you can see all of your active and running AI agents or bots. Here at the top is the Telegram bot. I can cancel this bot. I can delete this bot. I can pause this bot. I can edit any of the information. So clicking this edit icon takes you back to that page where you can update your prompt and test some new things. And then the info button right here tells us if there are any errors on our bot. And it will also show some information once the bot starts running. So back in Telegram, we have this deep link. Clicking on this will start your bot. So you can save this URL and paste it anywhere you like in an email signature on your website or send it to customers or clients. I'm gonna click on it. It opens up a new chat where now I can click the start button at the bottom. We're gonna see the typing notification. That means your bot is thinking and it's gonna send through its first message based on your prompt. Back on this workflows page in the info pop-up, I can see the last message sent. 
and that was that start button with the reply from the bot. So I can use this to kind of keep track of past conversations. And then if I send another message, like tell me more, your bot is going to give even more information about your company. So the bot remembers every conversation and everything that was said in the conversation. And if a new conversation is started, it completely starts fresh. So I can even write, what did you say first? And it will pair it back exactly what the first message was in the conversation. So it has a memory, it remembers who it's talking to, and it remembers what it said before. All right, let's go through this readme so you have a better understanding of what's happening in the back end, how this Telegram bot works, and all the important information that you need to know before you set it up for yourself. Here's a quick overview. It gives you fast replies. The bot takes two to five seconds with typing indicators so users know it's working. It gives you on-brand answers. There's a 10,000 character agent prompt limit, and you can use that to control style, tone, and behavior. It has a built-in knowledge, add company details, product info, locations, FAQs. Your bot uses this as a knowledge base. It can scale instantly, so multiple simultaneous conversations can run at once. And by default, there's a 500 messages per day cap. This is just to deter abuse. But if you have a special use case, please email me. You can easily test it as shown above. Send a comment and it tests your agent prompt. And then when you go live and click start agent, we auto create a Telegram webhook. So we instantly get all new messages tied to your bot. For the key features, there's a typing indicator that shows users that the bot is typing. So it improves trust that it's working and perceived speed. The backend model we're using here is GPT-5 Nano with thinking capabilities. So it's a good balance between speed and quality, right? We could use a better model and I have no problems with that. The only issue is it takes a lot longer for the responses to come through with not that much of a quality increase. So you might have your users waiting for 30 to 45 seconds for a message. They don't think it's working. They might send another message through. It's not a good look for your bot. And this is no code friendly. I showed you that everything is handled via this page. So you input your bot token, you input your prompt, and then you test it without needing to have any coding skills. Some best practices for this Telegram bot. So state your goals, your brand voice, your response length, and all forbidden behaviors. Structure in your prompt matters. I recommend using sections like a purpose, persona, style, data sources, constraints, escalation. In the example, I have three sections, style, business facts, and core behavior, but you can add much more. Put your most critical company facts near the top of the prompt, and then keep everything current and up to date. Try to use some examples or edge cases in your prompt. For example, refunds, outages, or sensitive topics, and then do a periodic review of your bot retest after some product changes or pricing changes and revise the prompt or knowledge base as needed. There is no single conversation limit. So many users can chat simultaneously and that chat will never end. The only cap is 500 messages per day across all of your conversations. Now that is a lot. And I think a very small percentage will hit that as is, but we can increase that on a case to case basis. If you're not getting any replies, your bot father token is probably incorrect or your bot has been deleted. In your Telegram bot pop-up, there is error logging. And if something is wrong, you'll see error text in red and you'll know exactly what's up. If you can't figure out how to fix it yourself, you can always send that error log to me and I can take a look at it for you. If you're getting strange tones or answers, just tighten up your agent prompt and move key facts of your knowledge base to the top. In theory, the larger the prompt, the longer your responses will take. But with that model that we're using, GPT-5 Nano, that's almost negligible. And then you can contact me at hey at youraiagent.com for support at any time. Security and privacy, all tokens are stored securely. All of your user messages and responses are stored securely on your account. And you can delete your bot token, stop the agent, or delete it at any point and all that information is completely wiped from the database. Some FAQs, how do users find my bot? So you can share that deep link 
and paste it anywhere you want. When people click on it, it will open up Telegram or they can search at your bot username in Telegram and tap start. Yes, you can customize the bot's voice and rules via the agent prompt. Yes, it supports multiple chats at once. The backend model we use again is GPT-5 Nano. And then if you exceed 500 messages per day, you can contact me and we can increase it on a case by case basis. Here are a few examples of Telegram bots that you can create for yourself. And hopefully these inspire some ideas for your own use case. But there are thousands and thousands of different possibilities you can build for a Telegram bot with this same setup. How about a plain chat assistant so it answers questions and chats concisely? This is kind of like the example I showed at the beginning of the video, that e-commerce bot. How about a TLDR summarizer that's too long, didn't read? The user can paste in long text and then the bot returns a five to seven bullet point summary. You could create a Telegram bot that rewrites and polishes text. You could create a Telegram bot that's a translator, maybe English to Spanish or French to German. You could create an idea generator. How about a Telegram bot that creates a tidy to-do list from a messy note? You could build a quiz maker or an email message drafter. The most common use case is going to be a customer support bot or a company assistant. You're gonna input everything that the customer should know, your entire knowledge base and business information, and then users are going to be able to draw from that in their own conversations. If you want to build a Telegram bot for yourself, I'm gonna leave a link to your AI agent and specifically the Telegram bot builder page in the description below. And if you like this video, I put two more on the screen right now. Both have been catered to your personal YouTube watch history. Give one of them a click for me, give it a watch, and I'll see you in there later.